Hi guys, welcome to CYC. My name is Nathan Hayes and today I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite kind of ideas or concepts. Now it might not convince you today, but it might kind of grow like a little weed in the back of your head and like in a month's time, in a year's time, you're gonna just kind of click it and you're gonna be like, God damn it, he was right. But it's really important to know, so let's jump into it. Today I wanna to go through the three steps of creativity, but I want you to generalize it out past that. Every time you try something new or learn something, I want you to keep these three steps in mind. Have you ever met a creative person who just thinks they're unique? That they're going to like revolutionize the craft, they're going to really make an impact? Well, of course you have, because every creative person is like that, because you have to be, because what's the point in doing it if you're not gonna make an impact? Whether it's an individual or the big stage, art is there to make an impact. So all creative people have an ambition of making an impact, but have you ever met the person or been the person who's afraid of getting kind of caught up in the machine of selling out into mainstream and so afraid that you kind of like isolate yourself from it, you, you protect your creativity. This is your like 40 year old who's still working on their first album or your writer who's writing the same book like 10 years later. It's the people that are like promising, this is gonna be amazing forever and they're never actually producing the product or a product. Well, those people are skipping the first step in creativity and that is imitation. We are social creatures, we learn from others. It's like we can only make so many mistakes ourselves and we can learn from them granted, but if we look at 10 other people, we get 10 times the amount of mistakes and it's way more efficient. They've learned the stuff themselves, like it's just more efficient to use a blueprint. We have to allow ourselves to be influenced and inspired by others. And it's not a corrupting force. It gives you direction, it gives you momentum. It makes you the workhorse you have to be to be creative. Because creative people are servants to their art. They are more kind of discoverers than creators because they are building something that's bigger than them, something that will last after them. And the reason it will last is because it touches on something truer than they can even articulate after the fact. Once the painting's finished, there's gonna be parts of that that the, the painter didn't intend on, but it, it makes it what it is. And if you wanna take part in that creative mission, you have to work. Now, once that momentum is built and you are working like a dog and you are copying, imitating, you are following in the footsteps of someone great, something's gonna happen. You're gonna get kind of bored. And I don't mean prematurely, if you cannot copy the great, well then there's still stuff in it that you can learn from. But once you get the techniques down and once you understand it, you're gonna understand that they too, the great, no matter how profound, no matter how intelligent the product is, they discovered it. And you're gonna venture into stage two of creativity, and that is manipulation. Because you're gonna see the rules that they followed and you're going to start bending the rules, breaking the rules, blending different rules together. Some people skip to this stage, but you have to understand the rules fully for you to manipulate them intentionally and intelligently. But most people actually skip to stage three, and that is innovation. Sometimes this can work out just by pure chance, but for the vast majority of people, they start off at such a disadvantage because they skip to innovation that they just get lost in the chaos. And if by some miracle they do end up producing something, it's going to be like a diluted or light version of like a theory. It's going to kind of just brush against it, but they won't be able to intelligently kind of interact with the topic because they don't know the theory, they don't know the history, they don't know they can't get into the complexity. They can't like push the limit of what is known or what has already been done. They just, because they don't know it. I had to learn this lesson myself. I said I was gonna write a book like before I even opened a clinical practice. And it's like, what would that have looked like? It's like, we've seen the first video on this channel. It's just like, if I spent years writing a book and it turned out like that first video, I'd be pretty salty. <laughs> Now, at the start of this video, I said I want you to generalize these three rules to everything. Last week, we talked about routines. Do you see how it would apply? That you imitate someone else's routine, you manipulate it to see what works for you, fit it to you, and in that manipulation, you might find something that really works for you, and that's your innovation. The same can be said for public speaking, or some discovering. Same can be said for diet or exercise, or for like speed reading, or for your clothing style, for building a home or raising a child, or for becoming like more assertive, or for becoming more empathetic. Like literally everything seems to follow these three stages. And you will grow and learn faster if you lean into that, if you accept that. And you will kind of stall and 
become stagnant if you try to resist it. There's a reason that Google's mantra is that we stand on the shoulders of giants because we do and that is how to learn. That is, and we've never had that access before. It's, it's kind of a cool thing if, if you do lean into it. And I just hope that weed kind of grows in the back of your head. Like, I don't care if the, you get it straight after this, but like if in a year's time, like you're just starting something new, some new hobby or whatever, and you're just like, okay, I'm at level one. I'm going to copy someone else. And then after a while, I might start kind of messing around with it. And then after a while, my messing might actually pay off and I might be able to like discover something. Like, if that would be great. <laughs> and that's it for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the videos, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.